if you ever visit a foreign country, then as a tourist you might go and visit some things that commemorate that country's history. You might take a day out to see the national museums, or the various statues in cities, or historic cities themselves. Usually in the place where something has happened, there's some grand monument, square or statue, and perhaps a lot of people might get their photo taken there. Where I'm currently going is nothing like that. It's a simple tree adjacent to a walking route. Lots of people out on country walks pass it every day, and sometimes stop briefly to admire the rolling hills on the other side of the valley. The tree in question, named the Wilberforce Oak, is commemorated with a stone seat and a plaque. Located near the villages of Keston and Biggin Hill within the borough of Bromley, this is the place in 1787 where William Wilberforce decided to fully dedicate himself to the abolition of the slave trade. The inscription on the stone seat, now barely readable due to weathering, is as follows. At length, I well remember after a conversation with Mr. Pitt in the open air at the root of an old tree at Holwood, just above the steep descent into the Vale of Keston, I resolved to give notice on a fit occasion in the House of Commons of my intention to bring forward the abolition of the slave trade. The Wilberforce Oak is somewhere I often aim to get to during my country walks, if only for the view. It's not often that history takes place on your doorstep. A man who left such a profound legacy walked just as I did nearly 250 years ago. Wilberforce did not live to see the full legal abolition of slavery in his lifetime. That was not achieved until after much perseverance and was the work of many more people after him. But this spot is now a place of solitude and reflection. Having walked past it many times as a child, I always marvelled at the view. And now knowing more about it has increased its importance to me. There's something enchanting about being able to stand somewhere of such historical significance.